Canva just launched Canva Docs and with that launch they introduced a very powerful and interesting feature that nobody saw coming. It's an AI copy generator which will magically write copy for you with the click of a button. It's called Magic Write and we need to talk about it. Hey, what's up everyone? Ronnie here, your go-to Canva guru. Today we need to talk about Magic Right. Magic Write is the brand new AI copy generator that Canva shipped together with the rollout of Canva Docs. If you remember, Canva Docs were introduced back in September 2022 at the Canva Create conference. And then they said, if you are interested, you can sign up to our waitlist. And when we are ready, you will have early access to Canva Docs. And this recently happened. It happened on December 7th. 2022. You guys got access to Canva Docs, I got full access to Canva Docs and everybody could try it. And with this package came this feature called Magic Write, which is a way to generate copy with one click, kind of magically generate that copy. So in this video, we are going to dive deep into this feature, see what it can do, who it is for, if it's a free or paid feature, if there are any limitations to using this feature. I just want you guys to see the whole shebang and to start using it because I believe it is very powerful for specific types of users. All right, let's jump into it. This is my Canva homepage and you see this brand new sparkling Canva Docs icon. If you see this icon, it means you already have access to Canva Docs, meaning you probably have signed up to be on that waiting list. If you don't see this, don't panic. I have a way for you to get access to sign up to this wait list. And I'm gonna show you before we go any further with the tutorial, because it might be very frustrating if you don't see it and like, oh damn, I don't have it. And I can therefore not follow this tutorial. Well, my friend, I have got your back. So what you will want to do is to go to canva.com slash docs canva.com slash docs, you will land on this page right here. So on top of this page, you will see this button, sign up for Canva docs, okay? And when you click on this button, you should see a prompt saying that you have successfully signed up, or in my case, I am already in. Okay, so after you've done that, after you've pushed that purple button, come back to your Canva homepage, maybe refresh once or twice. And if you still don't see the Canva Docs button, my suggestion is that you log out of your account and log back in and then you should definitely see the Canva Docs button. If not, worst case scenario, wait an hour or so, but it should come the same day at least. All right, so now that we all know what Canva Docs are, let's click on that icon and see what we can do. So we see that Canva Docs are basically a new way to think about written documents. Canva really wants to bring the power of visuals to your written documents, but that's not what we are going to discuss today. I have an entire video about what we already know Know about Canva Docs, you can find a link to this video in the description if you haven't yet watched it. So let me show you where to find this beauty of a feature. You see this plus button right here. So we are going to click on that button and the first feature you see here should be Magic Write. So I'm going to click on that and a text will pop up a prompt giving us an example. Like for example, write five tips on how to overcome writer's block. Okay, and then you press enter and this will generate your copy, the text that Canva will auto generate for you. So I suggest we try it out from the get go, see what Canva comes up with and we can write anything. What we've heard from Canva is that the more detail you write in your prompt, so in that box, the better the outcome would be. So for example, let's try it out. I want you to write uh, 10 tutorial, can, 10 Canva tutorial ideas uh, that I can create for my YouTube channel. Okay, I want you to write 10 Canva tutorial ideas that I can create for my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna hit enter and I can see Canva is brainstorming ideas for me. And there you go, it took about five seconds. So let's see what the results are. How to design a professional looking Facebook cover photo in Canva. How to create an Instagram post that stands out using Canva. How to make a Twitter header that catches attention in Canva. How to design an elegant Pinterest graphic in Canva. So these titles are pretty good. Like these are like legitimate tutorial ideas that I could definitely create for my YouTube channel. How to design a stunning holiday card in Canva. So 
This, in my opinion, is spot on. Like the first try really convinces me. There are 10 ideas right here. They're all kind of keyword optimized. They're on point, how to create a stylish baby shower invitation in Canva. So all of them are like really good. There's no like one option that would be ridiculous or doesn't make sense at all. They're all very good. All right, so this convinced me. Let's try something else. I want to show you another way to access the magic right feature. Instead of using the plus button right here, I can just use on an English keyboard. I have an English keyboard right here. I use the slash bar. Remember slash magic? If I use this slash bar, I'm calling the same menu. If you're not using an English keyboard, you can still use the plus button. But here I am on an English keyboard. I wanted to show you another way to call that prompt, to call that magic write feature. Now let's try another challenge for magic write. All right, I have another one right here. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Give me five catchy headlines for my blog post about choosing the right camera to create YouTube videos. Let's see. So I want catchy headlines. Okay, so there you go. The results, how to choose the right camera for YouTube videos, the best cameras for YouTube videos, the ultimate guide to choosing a camera for YouTube videos, what to look for when choosing a camera for YouTube videos and how to make sure you choose the right camera for your YouTube videos. Again, these are exactly what I asked for. These are catchy headlines for a blog post about that specific topic. So once again, I'm very happy about this result. Okay, so this is starting to really impress me and I'm just using it in the context of just generating copy. But imagine for one second, you already have a nice looking document. So let's come back. Let's actually go back home because I want to show you something else that is new with Canva Docs. Together with their launch, Canva introduced Canva Docs with Magic Write, which is a stunning feature. We just saw the result of the two first prompt I'm playing around with, but they also introduced Canva Doc templates. If I click on the doc icon and scroll down a little bit, I will see some templates. If I click on see all, I think as of today, we have 30 different templates. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna use Class No Team Retro. So we have some good templates right here. And you see they have the little doc icon mentioning that these are Canva Docs templates. So I'm gonna use a simple one. I'm gonna use this one, which is a letter, kind of like a corporate letter. Yep, I have things to do. So these, this is the list feature. I uh, have a signature inserted which is some kind of different fonts. Doesn't really matter. What I want to do is to change this text right here, all of that. And I want to replace this with slash magic, okay? Slash magic writes. And this time I have another prompt, like a more romantic prompt. Let's see, write a love letter to my wife, Diana, mentioning how we met in Peru. Diana and I met in Peru about eight years ago and I want to see if Canva understands that detail in my prompt and includes that in the love letter I would like it to write to Diana. Let's see what it comes up with. I'm very intrigued by this one and interested. Maybe I send the letter to Diana and see if she loves me more with this letter. Ooh, there's a big letter coming here. My dearest Diana, I can hardly believe it has been so many years since we met in Peru. It feels like only yesterday that we were both young and carefree, exploring the world and falling in love. Wow, that is very accurate. I will never forget the day we met. I was immediately drawn to your radiant smile and your infectious laughter. We spent the whole day talking and getting to know each other. And I knew from that moment that I was going Going to fall head over heels in love with you. That is pretty scarily accurate. And I did. Over the next few months, we grew closer and closer until there was no denying our feeling for each other. We decided to get married and it was the best decision I've ever made. Since then, blah, 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 blah your husband. This is... This is weird. This is so accurate because we did spend the whole day getting to know each other on that specific day and we did end up getting married. But yeah, wow, um, I'm kind of like shocked to be honest, but this was very accurate. Guys, Canva nailed it with Magic Write. All right, I think we got the point of how it works. It's actually super simple. Now let's talk about the details. Like who is this for? Is this for free users, paid users? Are there 
there any limitations, how to best use it. Let's cover all of these details. Well, the first thing we need to know is that Magic Write will only live for the moment within Canva Docs. So it's not gonna be in your social media document types, in your presentations or in your video doc types, only in Canva Docs, okay? So you need to click on that Docs icon, select a blank doc or create a doc from a template, but only if you are in a Canva doc will you have access to Magic Write. So that's the first thing to know. The second thing you need to know is that Magic Write is not at the moment available for teachers and students in the Canva for Education plans, okay? So if you are one of these people benefiting from Canva for Education, meaning you get Canva for Teams for free via the education, the school you're working with, you will not have access to this feature. And that is to prevent students, I believe, from using this feature to cheat, so to speak, when writing essays or having to write basically their school assignments or anything related to homework or basically the curriculum they are following at school. And I think this is a wise decision because it's borderline. I mean, the way Canva is positioning this feature for now is that it helps you come up with your first draft fast, okay? Canva wants you to focus on creativity, not the writing part. So they imply that you already know what you want to talk about and you need to focus on making your document look gorgeous. And for that, uh, generating that copy, overcoming writer's block is very important for them. Magic Write is kind of seen as your copywriter assistant that will help you with some ideas and you will pick up these ideas, make them your own and run with them and create your document with them. That is how Canva sees that for now. They see AI and they already introduced AI with text to image, if you remember, which is this feature where you type in a sentence and Canva will represent that sentence visually and create a visual from scratch. So the use of AI into Canva is seen as an incentive to foment creativity. So that is their stance on AI. And you can read more about this on the Canva website, but for now it is not available for the classroom. And then the third thing you need to know is that it works best in English for now. But that is not to say that it's only going to exist in English. Canva is introducing new languages and I think that as of today they already have the feature working in Bahasa Indonesian, French, Portuguese and Spanish. We can expect more languages to be added in the future but for now if you really want to get the most out of Magic Write try to use it in English, maybe in Spanish, maybe Bahasa Indonesian as these have been recently introduced, but English for sure will grant you the best results for now. All right, so that is kind of three things you need to know about its availability. And now the big question, is this gonna be a free or a paid feature? Well, Canva, approach this question a bit differently this time. I believe they are teasing the feature for free to free users, but with an asterisk right there and kind of an important one. What we've been told so far by Canva is that free users will be able to use Magic Write 25 times and not per month, but lifetime. Meaning after you've used that feature 25 times, it won't be available to you anymore, which I find a little bit cruel. To be honest, if you don't have the money to pay for Canva Pro and you get used to this and you really like it, but at the same time, commercially it does make a lot of sense for them to show you the power of what it can do and tell you, well, if you want it, you can become a Canva Pro user and then you will have access. So Pro users, on the other hand, will have 75 uses per user per month. So meaning if you are in a team, if you are using Canva for Teams, for example, you have a team of five, each member of the five people in your team will have 75 uses per month to use Magic Write. Now, this might change in the future. I don't know. I don't work for Canva anymore, so I'm not in the secrets, but as of today, it is what it is. So 25 times for free to try it out. And then if you really like it, if you think you absolutely need this for your business, upgrade to Canva Pro and you will have a monthly usage. And 75 uses per month is already a good amount if you're using it for yourself or your business. 
All right, guys, I think that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments what is the craziest prompt you've written in Magic Write. I would love to have some inspiration of crazy things to ask Magic Write to see what they come up with. So leave me your craziest prompt in the comment and I'm looking forward to try these out. I will leave you guys with this other video right here, which is everything we already know about Canva Docs so that you can discover it into more details. If you haven't yet watched it, this is a very good one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.